In this video, we will construct a mortgage schedule based on these information. The principal is $100,000 with an annual percentage rate of 2% for 5 years. This is the formula that represents mortgage payment, where P stands for the principal, R stands for monthly interest rate in our example, and N refers to number of months. Since we are constructing a mortgage schedule, therefore we should have different columns showing the month, beginning balance, interest, principal, and the ending balance. The C++ program should be able to tell us during the first month, the beginning balance is 100,000, and the interest will be 166.67, and then the program will refer to the payment formula to calculate the principal that gives us 1,586.11. Finally at the end of the first month after deducting the principal part of mortgage and interest, the ending balance will be 98,413.89. And based on this logic, the program shall be able to calculate the rest of the periods, so that at the end it will give us the ending balance of zero. Now let's take a look at our program. First of all at the beginning we shall declare headers that allow us to perform functions such as the power functions in our payment formula and the set precision function, as well as the input and output functions. In our main program, we first declare variables including the principal, the annual percentage rate, and the loan term. After declaring the variables we will tell the program to calculate the payment formula. Similar to our example in bond pricing, this time we also need to make sure the program returns numbers rounded up to two decimal places. After entering all these information the program should be able to tell us the monthly payment. And now we shall start to declare variables for the mortgage schedule. Since the numbers are presented in a table we should give enough space for each column. And this is the most important part for the mortgage schedule. We are using a for loop to calculate the table. First we have interest equals balance times monthly interest rate, then the principal part in each month will equal payment after deducting the interest. While the total interest and total principal will be the accumulated interest and accumulated principal, the ending balance shall equal the previous balance minus principal part of the mortgage. Next we have to make sure the numbers are presented in the correct column. At the end of the program we would like to know the total interest paid and the total amount paid for our mortgage. After we run our program, our mortgage schedule should look like this. On top of the table we have different columns, and it will calculate the ending balance, starting from the first month till the end of our loan term, that shows a zero balance. So based on the information in this example the total amount paid is $105,166.56. And this is how we construct a mortgage schedule using C++. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more. See you next time.